Hey, good afternoon guys. This is uh, gonna be a quick how-to video. Uh, I'm gonna be doing an oil change on a 2019 Kia Sedona minivan. This is, this is the uh, EX trim model. Okay, some of the tools that we'll be using for this oil change, obviously drip pan, funnel. Uh, we're gonna be using uh, some Gasrol Edge Full Synthetic 5W30. If you look here in the book, it's Capacity is 6.87 U.S. quarts, so we've got seven. Um, latex gloves, torque wrench, 27 millimeter socket wrench, uh, socket wrench, and a 17 millimeter socket. We've got our air filter, replacement washer, our crush washer, and uh, O-ring, some paper towels, and a plastic bag for trash. Okay, and uh, like the last video I made, the first thing you want to do is just take the oil fill cap off as well as unseating your dipstick here. This will allow for better flow when you drain the oil out. All right, so as you can see here, it's gonna be our drain plug. You'll need a uh, socket wrench and a 17 millimeter socket to loosen that up. Over here is the uh, oil filter housing. This is uh, a 27 millimeter, um, kind of a plastic nut on the housing there. So we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and get this started first, and then we'll move over to the oil filter. So let me just break this loose. Got the drip pan already in place. Just use our finger. There we go. We'll let that drain out and then we'll come back and pull that filter off. Okay, so we're almost completely drained from the oil pan. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove this oil filter cap. So, uh, get a socket wrench with a 27 millimeter socket on it. I'm gonna make sure that the drip pan is directly underneath because if you look, there's a little lip right here. So once I loosen this, a bunch of oil is gonna start coming out. A little grease into it, I guess. We'll loosen it. And that should be good. Now, I'm just gonna, you can see that oil is coming out there now. So that's going to drain from that that lip. And as I pull this out completely. See. So the oil filter just sits inside this plastic housing here. Okay, so we'll just let that drip out and then we'll get the new one installed. Okay, for the replacement parts, here's that oil filter housing. And it kind of wiped it down a little bit. Got all the old oil out. You take a flathead screwdriver and you kind of get up underneath this rubber o-ring here and then you can just kind of pull that guy right off that's going to be your old one so you can discard that and then we'll be putting on a brand new one but before i do i'm just going to put a little bit of some new oil kind of lube this up a little bit and uh and we'll go ahead and put that on the exact same groove as the old one. Actually, right, so I got a little bit of oil on my fingertips here, my gloves. I'm just going to grease up the new O-ring. And then I'll go ahead and 
apply that to the housing. I'm just gonna roll it into place. Just like that. That's it, ready to go. And then the next thing you wanna do is replace your crush washer. It should come off pretty easy. Sometimes these come off pretty hard and if they do give you a hard time you can actually cut these with some wire snips I've had to do that before this one's coming off fairly easy you can discard that one and you'll put your new crush washer on that came with your oil filter ready to go okay we're gonna put our new oil filter in here, there's a new oil filter here. Just plop that into the new housing. It should seat just like that. And we'll tighten that into the housing here. And we'll hand tighten it first. And then we'll use our socket wrench, our 27 millimeter tighten that up I get this pretty tight but I won't get it all the way tight because it's gonna say right here on the front of the cap 35 newton meters so that's going to come back with a, i'll come back with a torque wrench set to about 35 newton meters and then we'll cinch this down to specifications all right and for the plug it's still dripping a little bit of oil but not a big deal we'll just go ahead and we'll do this by hand first very important that way we don't cross thread the bolt tighten that up much as we can. And we'll use our 17 millimeter socket. Again, just snugging it up. But I will come back with a torque wrench in a few minutes and we will get that to specs as well as the oil filter housing. Okay, so the drain plug, Kia says that you should torque that to a tension of 34 up until 44 newton meters. So I have a torque wrench here, and this is a Tekton torque wrench, and we have it set to 40 nanometers, so, or newton meters. So wait till we hear the click. There it is. So we're set there. I'll switch out the tips and we'll put on the 27 mil. And we'll reduce our tension to 35 newton meters, which is going to be 34, a little bit more. That's about 35 right there. So we'll tighten it down and then we'll come back. And there's the click. So we're good. We have the oil filter housing tight to spec and we have the drain plug tightened to specs. So we'll go ahead and just kind of wipe these down. A little excess oil drip in there. And then we'll be good to fill this thing up with some new oil. Here's a look at the old stuff, the old filter, that is dirty, that was due for a change. Okay, let's get some new oil on this thing. Okay, get my funnel in place, again Kia calls for 6.87 US quarts, so we'll start with 5, go ahead and add this nice and slowly a 
what I'll probably do is put six quarts in. I'll get the car off the ramps, start it up, let it run for a few minutes, then let it cool down. And then I'll check the level of the oil and see if I need to add um, some more oil to it after that point. You don't want to overfill because then you got to do this whole thing all over again. So just go nice and slow. Put all the oil in there. Almost to the end. There's five quarts, so I'll add one more and then we'll get it off the ramp and start it up. Okay, we're just gonna let this run for a couple minutes, let it heat up, and then we'll shut it off and let all the oil get down to the, to the pan, probably give it about 10 or 15 minutes, and then we'll check the levels. No leaks. Good to go so far. Okay, we've given it about 20 minutes or so. So let's go ahead and check the oil level. Pull the stick out, give it a good wipe. Nice, clean, fresh start. Drop it back in and then remove. And we are, and if you can see where, if you can see that or not, we're a little below the full line. It should be it should be a little bit closer to the full line, so we're about three quarters of the way from the bottom of the dipstick. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more oil. Not too much though. Probably put a little bit less than a quarter of a quart. We'll go with that for right now. Give that a few minutes to get to the bottom, and then we'll do another level test. Okay, so I added a little bit more oil to it. Um, ended up putting in a total of six and a half US quarts. Uh, Kia called for capacity of 6.87, so a little short of that. My uh, fill, my oil line is just below the, the fill on the uh, dipstick, so I think we're gonna be good to go there. So now we'll just go reset the uh, interval, uh, service interval toggle inside the cabin and then we'll be good to go. Okay, to reset the service interval on the 2019 Sedona, I think it's probably different than other ones. Um, you go and you hit this little guy here. And I'll take you through the toggles, user settings, and then service interval you can go to reset and you click on that you can reset it i already did this so no um, and then you want to adjust your interval which when you go in there you can make it 10,000 miles or whatever so then it'll tell you on the bottom your interval is 10,000 miles and then you just back out you should be good to go there okay so that's it. That's how you change the oil on a 2019 Sedona. Pretty simple. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, just leave them in the description below. And have a good weekend.